Hello and welcome to this video where we will talk about how we clean up hacked pages from Google search results. If your website has gotten hacked, likely hackers have inserted um, malicious pages into your website and indexed those into Google search results. Unfortunately, these hackers are quite good and fast at getting those pages indexed as soon as possible, um, which means that they tell Google about those pages as soon as possible. Um, how you can find if your site has been um, hacked or has hacked pages indexed, you type in site colon um, and then your domain name into the search results and um, I mean into Google. And we do that right now here for um, this example, site colon, type that in. Um, this is what it should look like, site colon and then your domain name after. Um, you can also remove the HTTPS to see if that brings any different results. No, still 57 here. Um, <clears throat> perfect. The next step is to check if there are any hacked pages. We can clearly see here um, some Japanese text and so on. But you don't necessarily want to overwrite all of the hacked pages because if we check this one, um, they had just overlaid some of the hacked content which now this has been cleaned up and the actual real page is here. So we don't want to tell Google to delete this page. Um, but anyways, in, the, in this next step here, what we do is um, we use Google SERP extractor. Um, this is the description for how to use it. Um, it's basically a bookmark in your browser. We use that to get a whole list of URLs. So let's click that. Um, this gives us the whole list of URLs. And we can now copy and paste that somewhere to analyze and filter out only the hacked URLs. I've done that already. Um, and uh, I only have URLs in here now that are actual hacked URLs and that I want to remove from Google search results. Perfect. So let's copy all of these pages here. Uh, I'll also go quickly through here where we are in terms of the steps. So we've done Google SERP extractor. extractor. Um, yeah, actually the best way if you can, if you have just gotten hacked and you haven't cleaned up uh, the hack yet, um, you should decrypt the hacker's files on your server um, to get the whole list of URLs because this is the only time when you can get to know all of the pages that the hackers have created. The other methods that we're using here, we're just asking Google, hey, which pages do you know about? Uh, on our website and that is not necessarily the whole list of pages that the hackers have created and Google does not always tell you the whole list of pages that they know about. Same with the second method of getting the list of URLs from Google Search Console. Um, actually, uh, this should be here using SERP Extractor. Um, that should be at the top here. Um, but yeah, even this method, if you go into Google Search Console, this also won't give you the full list of pages um, necessarily. You can only get that by decrypting the hackers' files on your server. There's different tools for that. And um, copy and pasting it from, from that list. Um, once you have cleaned up all of the hacked files, this method, method here in C is not available anymore. This is the situation that I'm in right now. We have to work with um, the pages that Google shows us in search results and Google Search Console. Um, okay, so that about um, getting the list of hacked URLs. Again, C is best if you can, otherwise um, A and B will have to do. Um, perfect. The next step is to go to our SEO plugin and um, set pages to be a 410 error. 410 means that the page has been deleted. Um, about 410 errors, um, they are not supported by Google Search Console. Um, by GSC, will show as error in Google Search Console. However, it is not a real error. Um, it's just a reporting error, um, error only. Um, Google will action these correctly on their own server. Um, Google will Don't ask me why in 20 years um, Google have not managed to handle uh, 410 errors inside of Google Search Console. It's definitely, um, I think, a valid question to ask them when that feature will come. But um, they do handle it correctly on their um, servers and they will delete those pages from the search results if you have set them to be a 410. They handle it relatively similar to a 404 
we should actually explore that a bit further. Um, in my view, for a 404, which just means that the page was not found, Google will come back a bit more often um, to check if that page is now back. Um, and if it hasn't been back, let's say after two or three months, then Google will delete that page from the index. Um, that's for a 404. 404. However, with a 410, um, as soon as Google finds that, um, it should immediately remove the page from the search results. And then there's not much reason for Google to come back because we've just told Google that we deleted that page. I hope that makes sense so far. Let's go and actually do step two here um, to create those 410 errors on our WordPress website. So we go to our WordPress website, inside of SEO Monster, we head to the 410 tool. Um, let's click that again. If we then go and scroll all the way to the bottom, this is the place where we can copy and paste the list of hacked URLs that we have here. So copy and paste that, put that in here. Um, perfect. Uh, then we click add entries to the 410 list and they now all show up. So we can also um, show the top 100 here and we can see all these pages show up. Now we can either click test URL and um, indeed uh, it says, sorry, the page you requested has been deleted. Um, and that's all it is. And that is how the 410 error should look. Um, and you can of course also just, uh, sorry, copy and paste that URL into your browser manually if you wanted to. <clears throat> Let's do that. So if we copy and paste this after the URL here, beefsteak is in the URL, um, then now it shows that the page has been removed. Uh, which is exactly what we want to happen. Um, perfect. So the next step would be to get to generate a sitemap um, that includes all of these hacked URLs. So we can click here, generate uh, sitemap. <coughs> SEO Monster uh, 410 tool. Let's see here. Okay, so we will go to the 410 tool, um, select all URLs and generate an XML. So we say, uh, let's say deleted pages <clears throat> and we click create. Um, and now it gives us the URL here. This is where our deleted pages now live. So we can see all of these pages here are now in one sitemap and we can now go to Google Search Console to submit that sitemap. So <clears throat> Uh, google.com forward slash webmasters to get to Google Search Console. <clears throat> um, in here, we now go to sitemaps and we go to um, to actually create these deleted pages here. I mean, create the sitemap and tell Google about it. Oftentimes it's normal that we get this couldn't fetch error. Um, you just need to submit it again and then it should work. Great, perfect. So we've now submitted this sitemap with 48 um, discovered URLs and Google will um, go and visit all of these pages when they do find, find time. <laughs> so uh, because it's not Google's highest priority to visit relatively low quality pages, which these hacked pages definitely are, um, we want to make sure that we have a way to speed up this process to force Google to visit those pages a bit quicker than they normally would. So 